Coming up next, for Canada, they pride themselves on each and every step that leads to victory. The preparation, the focus, the sheer will. Each game a new opportunity to prove their identity. Coming up on 2K Sports. Welcome everyone, thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. We've got some NBA action for you coming up. This is Kevin Harlan and by my side, Greg Anthony and Brent Beer, and from the sideline, David Aldridge. So let's take a look at Canada's starting lineup. Hugis Alexander out there with Murray. Then it's Wiggins, then it's Barrett, and it's Powell in at the five, Roman the paint. Oh, we get to see, Brent, two of the league's strongest backcourts tonight. And this is probably the kind of game that suits your taste. Am I right? <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it, Kevin. This game is going to come down to guard play. It's not just about the backcourt scoring. It's just as much about that strong perimeter defense. He's covered by Murray. No good on the three. And so here's Canada. Pass to Powell. Murray outside. Knocked loose. Just five on the clock. Got a hand on it. And they recover it. That doesn't fall. Can't drop his first shot. Let's it go with a three. He's covered by Murray. Another shot. Crane for two points. Number three. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. Yeah, he's got to be a little bit more on their radar after knocking down something like that. To the left side wing. Here's Ramos. Shoots it. Rebound Canada. Shot didn't fall, but that play worked well to get a good look at the basket. Yeah, an efficient offensive possession. They found the look that they wanted, just didn't go in. Now here's Murray. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. Well, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage, for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. And two free throws is coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. First yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. At the line for two, number three. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe the D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Murray outside. From 12 feet out got a piece of it. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. about two minutes played here in the first quarter step back shot Gilgis that one falls Alexander. just such a well-rounded offensive player he's got a little bit of everything roundly here at covering it's rebounded by Barrett and the effort never stops with him no easy shots when he's on the floor 
Well, it's about the defensive yes. end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. Tip of the cap there. I mean, that defense was good. The finish was better. Hey, guys, that's not as easy as he made it look. You've got to have some skills to pull that off. Well, he's got plenty of those, yes. that's for sure. And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for Canada. Trailing by two. And Canada calls their first time out of the game. Well, whether things are good, bad, or indifferent, coaches will have adjustments to make throughout the course of the game. Yeah, not just there to pump up or to discipline players. you got to make sure that the coach makes the proper adjustments and has his team in the right mindset to carry it out. Home team on D. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Barrett. Stolen. Throws it up high. Absolutely the prettiest place in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Lob pass to Barrett. Stolen away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt there. Here's Ramos. Rejected by Murray. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Murray. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Little turnaround. Rebound Canada. Barrett's got his fourth rebound in this one. Gilgis Alexander trying to free himself up. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Canada shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Barrett. Two shots. And that one falls for Barrett. He hits both from the stripe. Gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. And there's the pass to Aguilar. Barrett covering. Six to shoot. Misses the three. For Canada, they've gone two of five here, making 40% so far to start out the game. And the dunk by Olenek. What elevation. He's a smaller but still determined big man. And he likes mixing it up with his impressive vert. Barrett covering. Number Lays 20. it up. And despite of the excellent defense at that. And, and that's a great piece of work to get to the hoop there. Just tore the D to shreds. Poke loose. Barrett covering. Nice D from Barrett. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Now here's Olenek. Takes it inside, and good that time. Well, he's too good a finisher to blow that kind of chance, but that's going to be a wake-up call to the defense. Aguilar, covered by Wiggins, 
fires the three. A three-pointer is right on target. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. 36 seconds left here in the first quarter. Here's Banton. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contest. First foul. First team foul. Coming onto the floor for your home team, number 18. There's 21 seconds left here in the opening quarter. And they call oh, another three screen here. Number 20. Uh, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close to being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. Canada trails by three. Get through, get through, get through. Stay, stay, stay. Up top, Barrett. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Personal foul. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the bump and still get it to the line. For, the for Canada, team. they've had two Barrett. chances at the line One already, shot. making them both. up a deep three the shot no good so it's a tie game as we end the first stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this visiting team 13 Getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. Guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Well, look at the turnover ratio, then look at the score. Easy to see what happened in that first period. Yeah, hopefully the opposition can recover because that first quarter defensively was unbelievable. Just crippling defense. Like you've heard people say it's a make or miss league. Does that hold true? It seems so, right? Shooting percentages correlate more with winning than possession stats like turnovers or offensive rebounds. It's clear shot making has never been more valuable, but the ability to disrupt rhythm still plays a big role. And for Canada, Wiggins is out there with their screen. Then it's over. It goes in and towards in at the two spots. Yeah, I want to play like that is questionable. It creates that much of an advantage for the offense. You have to blow the whistle. Yeah, a quick little lean like that is going to get the ref's attention. Foul call. Now here's Murray. Hasn't made one yet. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. T right on him. And for Canada, we've got Olenek. Wiggins is out there with Barrett. Then there's Murray. And it's Gilgis Alexander in at the shooting guard. Perez, covered by Wiggins. Shot clock at five. Hits the three-point bomb. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. This is it to Olenek. Murray right side. It's deflected, and they'll keep possession. A 15-footer. He hits the back iron and so sinks the shot. Well, you like guys who can work that in-between area. Really keeps the defense honest. Oh, man, that is just easy for him out there. At his size, with that kind of touch, that is money. Timeout call, Canada. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team.
And so it's Murray with it. He brings it up for Canada. It's a five-point game. On the wing, Gilgis Alexander. And the dunk by Powell. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. Perez. He's covered by Murray. And the officials have called the illegal screen right there. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Canada trails by three. Pass to Barrett. From 12 feet out, it's deflected. Perez. He's covered by Murray. That's tipped. And so the ball's out of bounds. Powell touched it last. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Going inside. Powell pulls it in. For Canada, they've gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter, going just one for five. And it's Barrett penetrating. The shot by Powell, no good. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort foul. there. He just gets out there and contests, first and that's foul. just enough. First team wow, foul. wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Two. At the line for your home team, Aguilar! Shooting two. First one falls for him. Both good from the line that time. A big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Now here's Gilgis Alexander. Here's Barrett. It's blocked. Barrett covering. Pass to Aguilar. Six on the shot clock. From 13 feet, goes down. He has six. Easy little jumper for him right there, guys. Gilgis Alexander passes to Barrett. No good with the layup. Gone three of their first five shots to drop here in the second quarter. To the wing right side. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Canada trails by seven. Lobbed up there for Powell. And what an alley -oop. Those two read each That's other so well. Yeah, it's yeah, a play I'm sure they love to run. There's the pass to Aguilar. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. From the line. And the shot goes down. Number 18. That's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Timeout called Canada. And your new best one.
whole team deciding to change it up. Here's Paul. Now Olenek. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Two minutes. Manton, the pass to Olenek. Here's Dort. Drains it from beyond the arc. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. Fires from deep. It's tipped. And he gets it back. Perez. And ball that ball goes ball. out of bounds. The ball. And they'll keep possession. The Gilgis Alexander with the steal. We've got 128 left in the first half of basketball. Right side, Dort. Three-pointer. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Dort's got a couple of three-pointers in the second for Canada. Down to five on the shot clock. A jump hook. Nice defense from Dort. And so it's Dort with it. He brings it up for Canada. They trail by one. And the dunk by Powell. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Pass to Banton. And it's blocked. And it's out of bounds. Canada retains possession. Now into the lineup for your home team. Number five, Ramos. Thirty seconds left here in the second, and the dunk by Powell. Assist and goes credit the screen for giving him the space he needed to get to the rim. For sure, GA allows him to come in with the sledgehammer. Yeah, why well, settle for the layup when you can attack the rim and rise up like that? They get it back, and they get it. No good on the layup. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. And some good action that's through the first two quarters as we reach halftime. It's Your Canada team. up by three. 24. Time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Quite the tussle there in the first half, huh? Checking out Canada. Kenny, what's your viewpoint? It's been an aggressive approach for them at the offensive end. Getting the ball inside and getting as many points as possible close to the rim. So far, so good. They have a nice edge in the points in the paint. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. And taking a look at their outside shooting, got to be honest, it's pretty horrific. Under 30%, which is something you never want to see. They need to reevaluate what they're doing on offense because they're leaving points on the table. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Canada leading by three. Murray the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Hey. 
can't connect from 14 feet out. In just 35%, they've got to get better looks. And for Canada, Jamal Murray is out there with Gilgis Alexander. Then it's Olin. Then there's Powell. And it's Dort in at the three slot. At the line for your home team, number five. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. So he gets them both. And for Canada, they're shooting here about 46% for the game. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Personal foul. First team foul. I mean, even from over here, you can see for the that was pretty clear. For Canada, they've gone three for three at the line tonight. And he makes the first. It's also good, so he hits both free throws. Here's Ramos. Scoreless thus far. From downtown, cranes the three-pointer. And that makes it a tie ball game. And I don't care how far from the bucket he is. You've got to have a man on him. He's just too good from deep. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Murray kicks to Dort. Shot clock at six. Lined up there for Powell. No good on that one. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley hoop attempt. Yeah, you like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. Now, here's Dort. Eight points for him. Right side. Can't connect from short range. How about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very serious. Second team foul. At the line for two. Soto! And the first one drops. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Canada trails by four. Two minutes into the second half of play now. With the drive, he feeds it to Powell. To end the run. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Personal foul, second team foul. Canada in their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Taking two shots. Two. 
The free throw drops for Powell. And so Powell nails both of them. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Into the lane. It's blocked. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Here's Barrett. And a great yes. assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Barrett's got it all tied up now for Canada. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Pass to Ramos. Clock at six. And he hits the jumper for two. Ramos has got five points now this quarter. And Murray's got the ball here for Canada. Kicks it to Powell. Murray looking around. Pass to Barrett. Jacks up a three. And Canada another three. Three. And teammates more and more looking for plays from Murray like that. He lobs it up. And good passing in the paint may be even more important to an offense than great passing on the perimeter. Those are areas where you got to be careful. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. And he drives in. Rejected by Murray. And here we go. Fast break. Powell's got it. Got a piece of it. Sinks the triple. He's got nine. That's a shot he's going to bury, especially when left open. Timeout call, Canada. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Clark finds Wiggins. One forty nine left to play in the third. It's deflected. They retain possession. Off on the layup. That's a tough rebound if you don't have the length that he does. So the size paying off. Good on the triple. He does so much out there to stretch out the defense. And he's out on the perimeter. And he drains the triple. There at the basket, to Clark. Back to Barrett. Bobbed up there for Clark. And it's Clark slamming it down. And maybe that'll trigger them. Impossible not to get pumped up after that. Yeah, well, you can see the immediate reaction of the guys on the bench. They are pumped up. And the best to Ramos. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Here's Benton. That's tipped. Passes it to Ramos. Drives to the hoop. There's 45 seconds left to play in the third. And the jumper is on the mark. Number three. He's got 11. You can't just stop. When there's a pick set up, got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. 
Inside. Here's Benton. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Gilgis Alexander. Alexander's got four assists in the game. Gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Here's Ramos. Five points in the game. Clock at four. Puts one up from 19. And no good. And we've reached the end That's of the, the third. End of the third quarter with the up by five. Your Don't go anywhere. The final quarter is coming up next on PK Sports. 40. Tense quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. And the home team has possession. Leading by five. From the high post. Good as the jump shot falls. Canada has gone three or four from long range in the game. And for Canada, Wiggins is out there with Clark. Then there's Murray. Then it's Barrett, and it's Dort, and it's the two go. Brownlee. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. How about the concentration? He gets hit, but stays with the play and gets the finish. First personal foul, first team foul. So both teams changing it up here. Bradley. Canada trails by 10. Murray with it. Outside, Dort. Higgins up top. And dead on that time. Beautiful shot. Wiggins has got his first basket. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around. Keep it moving. Try to get an assist on every bucket. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. Basketball IQ is something that gets talked about, but it's importance to a team showing up here, running plays that turn into scores. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Yeah, they're going for the throat. Murray dishes to Powell. Pass to Wiggins. Murray outside. Pass to Barrett. Six to shoot. Count that Barrett. bucket. Yeah, that's one way to get back into this game. Keep getting him the ball and let him make the shots. He's covered by Murray. Banked in yes. off the glass. Number three. And this is how you want to come out of the half. Prolific and efficient. Well, the thing is, they're controlling the pace right now, and if that was the mantra for them at halftime, they've carried it out. And the pressure he put on that shot. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight, nailed five of them. Brownlee, Garrett covering. Rebound Canada. And that was almost a block. Still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot. Just as long as there's a miss, that kind of energy not wasted. 
Excellent assist there. Just led him to the perfect spot. Puts it up. Can't nail the jump. Canada trails by 10. Now, here's George. It's deflected. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Can't talk enough about the subtleties in that setup right there. The assist, really the key to that entire sequence. The pass to Pop. Murray with it. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you can see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Gone six of eight from the field in the fourth so far. It's been a great start to this final quarter for them. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Rob. Down low. And it's blocked. Outside, Dort wasted no time on that one. Dort got four points this quarter. I think burn some clock if they want to. And get a little breather as well. To the paint. Wiggins with the rebound. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. And it's Wiggins with the ball for Canada. It's a 10-point game. Wants to get it to Powell and does. That cuts the lead to single digits. Oh, just a picture-perfect alley-oop. You, you gotta love that now, one, Kevin. A little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. Van Jorginski! It has been a clinic in rim protection and shot blocking. He's played the defense of three men tonight. His block total has gotten to a point you almost never see in an NBA game. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Well, the head coach of the home team had some words for the team during the break. Now, his perspective was to play like we're behind. He said, that's the energy we need right now. We haven't won anything yet. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Now, here's Barrett. Fader on the way. Can't get it to go. His fifth miss and ten shots from the floor. Gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. Five of 12. Over to the wing. by Powell. Makes that one his so sixth good. of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. Almost an impossible shot to block in the post. The defender can't give up that much of a height advantage and expect to contest it. And it's out of bounds. Canada retains possession. Team ball. Seven left in the fourth. From six away. The shot's good from Gildas Alexander. And uh, 101 left to play in the final quarter. Here's Ramos. He's covered by Murray. Great positioning on the putback. Uh, impressive job by the players, oh, wait, coaches, and don't discount the impact 
of these fans. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on. And that can always help. That's that home advantage of home fans getting you going. Fully on display here. Timeout called Canada. They trail by 10. There's 45 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. There's 45 seconds left in the game. Olenek the pass to Gilgis Alexander. Rebound by Ramos. Uh, how about the timing he shows there to challenge that shot? Yeah, not easy to do there. And that's a guy that you can tell takes every possession defensively very seriously. Now here's Wiggins. At Joe Olenek. Here's the three. It's good from long range. 19 seconds left to play here in the fourth. And so they get the victory here at home. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were elected. And that about wraps it up. So for David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, Brett Barry, and the whole 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for being with us. We'll see you next time.